Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing the She's My Corner number two, which is basically just, you know, reacting to new makeup releases. I'm really excited, but I'm also really, really, really behind on new makeup releases. I went a little bit back on the releases. I do use Makeup Release Radar for the releases, trend mode, and all that stuff that I will leave in the description box, but it's mainly Makeup Release Radar, trend mode, or Transtopia. I will leave it in the description box, but I have a couple. I have a couple of new releases. I'm going a little bit back, not too much. We have 27 releases. That's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I don't want it to be too long because there has been a lot <laughs> a lot of new releases so let's just start i'm gonna go to from the oldest to the newest we have that sigma is releasing their collab with alice in wonderland this is their alice in wonderland eyeshadow palette blush and highlighter brush set lip duo and full collection the full collection is 199 dollars which I think it's pretty good for everything that you're getting. How many brushes is there? It's not a bad price at all. I really like this palette. Um, it's very, very, very pretty. I like the colors. But I'm not into Disney collabs. If you can, you know, I'm, it's not my thing. I don't like... Um, anything related to Disney in makeup uh, um, I also like their Cinderella palette which I'm like so tempted so tempted to get it but just because it said Cinderella it's like it throws me off but maybe I'll make an exception and I'll pick it up because it's stunning but this one this one is an easy pass for me um, the blushes look good the lipsticks look pretty but it's just not my thing so this one is just a it's a pass okay so we got what is this <laughs> vacation ink um and they're releasing their classic whip spf 30 sunscreen mousse vegan quota free 22 dollars it's a pre-order so it's a sunscreen in a moon in a whipped cream packaging I have, you know, <laughs> it's very, it's very unique, it's new, it's definitely gonna get the people talking, and if that's what they wanted, I am pretty sure they're gonna accomplish that, so I'm, I'm not gonna pick it up, but I do like when brands are like kind of different and explore and try to make themselves different from all the other brands out there so I do give them credit for that but it, it's an easy pass. Okay so we got this. This is very interesting. This is Fenty Beauty is releasing and they're, they're collabing with Mrs. to release their ketchup or makeup set. Um, <laughs> interesting once again. Either you get ketchup or you get makeup. Um, once again, same thing, it's, it, uh-huh, it's gimmicky, but the thing that I like, it's innovating and bringing something different. Would I pick it up? No, no, not at all. It's $25. It's currently available, but I think it's a fun thing to, like, I think it will be a really good thing for, like, YouTubers. I think that's gonna get them a lot of views. But personally, no, it's Ace of Pass. It's innovative, it's cool, it's new. Definitely new, but it's an Ace of Pass. Okay, so, um, Noma Cosmetics is releasing their Bosque Nuoso de Monteverde eyeshadow palette, which is a palette inspired by the forest of Monteverde. Um, that's in Costa Rica. Um, I've seen this palette in person. It's stunning. I haven't picked it up because my friend has it and I'm waiting to try it first. <laughs> so I want to do that first. I do have their previous palette. Stunning, beautiful, the shimmers, amazing. But yeah, um, I, I can't say if this is a pass or not because I want to try it first. But um, it's, it's beautiful, the paints look 
like their neon so i'm i'm excited to see how they perform because those eyeshadows are a little bit more hard harder to formulate so i'm excited to try that but it's a stunning palette their concepts beautiful this is how you do it you know it's just beautiful i i love it we got a new release from charlotte tilbury from mrs charlotte and she's releasing her beautiful skin radiant concealer um we got all the information here it's like shape wear for the eyes and the face power of concealer and the power of an eye cream our circles are here reduced by 40 percent yeah it does have an little thing so you gotta read that further and skin looks smoother and more radiant by 43 percent it also has a little thingy so you know we need to read that a little bit more it retails for $33 um, I'm not sure how much is my favorite concealer which is the Dior I know, it's that, I know the price point it's high but I don't know how much well I'm not gonna count but it has a couple of shades I still think they could have done way more shades um, especially for the deeper shades we got a lot of medium we got a lot of fair and it's like you know it's lacking a shade range I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up yet I was like no I'm not gonna pick it up but I have been trying a couple of Charlotte Tilbury's products and I've been pleasantly surprised so I don't know yet I might I might what do you guys think should I pick it up should I do a review I don't know I'm I can't say I, I don't have an answer right so that's like on hold okay and also from Charlotte we got her airbrush brightening flawless finish powder two shades light medium tandy I believe this is for like concealer for brightening flawless finish and a pleasure let's lift it feel flawless bright and flawless look <laughs> inspired by my award-winning three sold every minute damn girl airbrush flawless finish powder it says for eyes and face sets makeup for up to 16 hours 46 dollars um i think i'm i think i'm probably gonna skip on this yeah this is a pass for me i have the other one which i don't remember the name right now but the one where the packaging it's like gold i like it it works for me i use it for my under eyes it works i have to try out the travel size so i don't i don't really need this so this one is an easy pass for me so we got here makeup revolution is releasing their clueless collection oh my god i mean if we're talking about revolution in terms of themes i think it's makeup revolution they got a lot of themes and they not they not always kill it with color stories and all that but i think they're it's one of the brands competing with color pop though that brings a lot of themes into makeup so i'm not really into anything from <laughs> from this let's see no no cute it's cute i like the lawyer's remorse that's me oh this one is pretty though i like this one i don't know what's going on with me uh, i'm i'm lately into grays and like neutral palettes yeah this is an easy pass for me i am not interested in any of these products so let's let's move on listen laura mercier i've never tried anything from her now the thing is when i first looked at this i was like oh my god what is that it's very it's not giving very much but i thought this one and i was like oh it looks better not that i'm gonna pick it up but it looks better than the previous ones still it's i can see that there's like three shimmers because they look very very almost matte so no it's past it's past okay so we got here more cosmetics i've never tried them before this is on the go collection perfect compact palette you will need each palette for just nine months every day on the go. sugar delight little stars golden treasure viva la rose rose sweetheart wineberry silver mist twilight dream twilight. so ooh, i see one that i like can you guess which one it is um no no, 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 no. Um, 
this one it's pretty this is wine berry i like this one i like this one a lot the gray one i like it i don't know what's going on with me and this one which is this one twilight the twilight one i'm gonna pick up this one is it available no twelve dollars each okay i might pick this up this is very pretty i like the twilight and the gray one and the wineberry those are the three that i like i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm gonna pick them up but if i wear those are the three that i will pick up so let's continue we got here bh cosmetics is back i am not very informed into why they left and all that stuff i have read the comments that i think makeup revolution bought them or something like that they're releasing their travel series with five eyeshadow quads ecstatic in egypt iconic in iceland mesmerizing in my Mykonos, Mykonos, Magnetic in Miami, and Meet Me in Malibu, which is $7 a piece, cute in Cabo, face quad brush set. The brushes are amazing quality, I must say that. <laughs> no, and no. Easy pass, let's continue. Okay, so milk, milk makeup. I, I'm wondering, I would like to know the story behind this name, behind this brand name, Milk. Milk Make. Why Milk? I want to know. Like, I'm intrigued. Like, in a good way. I, I like it. Okay, they're releasing the Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. Medium to full coverage concealer. 30 shades. 30 shades? Where are the 30 shades? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we need, no. We need more darker shades. Oh my God. 30 shades and that's all the dark shades you have. Unacceptable. So it says a multi, multi-use medium to full coverage concealer that covers, sculpts, and hydrates for a lightweight, crease-proof natural finish. This creamy liquid concealer is 92% natural, clean, vegan, cruelty-free. Uh, what's where's the other percent made of easy pass i like the applicator though it looks nice but uh, i don't know i just have too many concealers right now so i don't need another one okay this is another palette from bh cosmetics uh this is the power play palette very neutral very you know warm toned okay these are blushes and these are bronzers and highlights um i think this 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 line right here shimmers looks very pretty i like the green palette but it's an easy pass for me twenty dollars uh yeah it's pretty but um easy pass tart cosmetics is releasing their man eater after dark eyeshadow palette 24 shades 11 mattes nine shimmers four sheens it's $52, it's available now at Ulta, and when I first saw it, I was like, no, but I saw Steph's beauty stash, I believe is her full name, if I'm saying it right, video on it, which if you don't follow her or if you're not subscribed to her YouTube channel, I recommend you do because she does, like, the work on videos like she does a lot of looks with one eyeshadow palette and that's that's really amazing um so i saw all the looks that she did with this eyeshadow palette and the shimmers and i was like it looks very different from the usual products or eyeshadows that tarte comes out with so i'm still intrigued i'm not into pass or buy yet i'm like in the middle in the middle so you stay right there so Sephora is coming out with their best skin ever glow collection with a foundation and a concealer. I have uh, both for their, I guess, matte version, which is not very matte. So I don't know how glowy this one is gonna be because the ones that I got are not like super matte. And the concealer, which is the one that I'm wearing today, is not matte. It's very, it's, well, 
it's not mad I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's not mad. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be too glowy. It definitely captures my attention. I do see that there's only 20 shades for the foundation and 12 shades for the concealer. That worries me a little bit. Come come show the people your nails, please. Don't mind her hair. I need to do her hair. No, not please don't. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I need to do her hair. She's missing an earring. No, oh. I know I'm crazy, I know. But subscribe to my channel. <laughs> okay, bye. Damn. I think it's gonna be a pass for now. I'm gonna wait for the reviews for the Sephora thingy 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 and then I'll we'll see what we do. Milani is coming out with their conceal and perfect on dry brightener. I thought they have did they had this already? Um, it has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. Um, I don't know what is this shade range though. Is it a concealer? These shades are like to color, like color correct. Okay, we got the pinks, we got the regular ones, we got the peach, we got the orange, and then we got dark shades, and then we got this shimmery thing. So what is it? Oh, okay, if, if you read, Unri Brightener. Which I'm assuming are these. These are the ones. Okay. Oh, these are contours. Snatches. Contour. Which are these. And then we got the perfect liquid highlighter, which is the last one. I don't know. It's. I don't understand, but it's a pass. So let's just continue. Too Faced is coming out with their pumpkin, pumpkin spice second slice sweet and spicy limited edition eyeshadow palette. A sexy sparkling pumpkin spice pumpkin pie scented eyeshadow palette that features 18 warm and spicy shades in a variety of scents. I. Is gorgeous. I like the lipstick shade. I really like the lipstick shade. But no, it's a pass. I've only had one palette from Tarte. Oh, from Too Faced. Sorry, it was the it was one of the chocolate palettes, the pink one with the hearts. I remember I did a YouTube video and everything, but <laughs> that was a long time ago. That was the only palette I've tried for them. I believe so. Patrick Ta is releasing the Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. A duo that includes a blendable medium coverage cream foundation paired with a satin finish powder. This duo includes a buildable, breathable cream formula that melts into and moves with the skin. It also includes an air spun setting powder that blurs the appearance of pores to create a flawless looking skin like finish. This set contains, okay, we got that information. It's available now. Now, listen, I, I've been trying a couple of Patrick Top products and I've been liking them a lot, just like Charlotte Tilbury. But I tried, okay, I went to Sephora because I got the little early access. I went to Sephora, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick it up because I wanna do a YouTube video on it. And then I couldn't find my shade. I tried three different foundations in the match finder, none of them, none of them. And it threw me off. I was like, no, I don't wanna get a yellow foundation. So I think I'm gonna have to skip on it because I can't find my shade. Um, I use neutral shades. That's um, that's the one that I use. Oh my god, it's my hair. So. Um, and I, I I couldn't find it. So I believe I'm gonna skip on it. I don't know if my friend is gonna pick it up. If she picks it up, maybe I can try it, make a YouTube video on it. But I don't think I'm gonna spend my coin on this just because it really threw me off that uh, I tried three and none of them could find a stinking foundation match. So that's a pass. So we have here that Glaminatrix is releasing their Glamorous Eyeshadow Palette, 12 shades, mattes and shimmers. Really pretty, pretty, pretty. I have not tried them. Um, I've seen 
amazing things amazing things of this brand um they're in my little wanna try brand they're handmade so that's really really awesome and that's really really cool so this is just like uh, I don't remember which one was it. I'm not too in the past or buy it yet. They're like in the middle. So I'll, I'll update you if I buy it. Makeup by Mario is releasing yet another shade of their Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. No glow. You already know how I feel that he is not releasing all the shades at the same time. I got two shades that look basically the same, but this one is a pass. I like the formula. I don't like the applicator. It gets really messy because once the lipstick like touches your lips it gets like really emollient so it could be messy she glam is releasing their new glow bloom liquid highlighters three shades three shades $4.99 they're available now let's see it's pretty okay so they're releasing also um Apparently, contours, bronzers. Uh, but yeah, if I were gonna pick anything, it would be the highlighters, especially Bellini Brunch. It looks very pretty. It's a pass. If it's just if I were going to pick one up, that would be one. We have here NYX Cosmetics is releasing their SFX face and body paints. This is basically just for people who do like really amazing um, creative makeup. They have a little star stamp. Um, I believe Colourpop has one too. Yeah, this is, a, <laughs> this is an easy pass for me. I do think it's very innovative and cool. So you're, if you're into like very artsy makeup, that's a really good option for you. So we have here from Tower Beauty, Tower 28 Beauty, um, her their new lengthening and curling clean mascara. I don't like the wand. I think that it's gonna be too flexible. It's gonna like move and it's gonna be uncomfortable. I don't know. It's it's a pass for me. Yeah. I don't like the wand. I do like their um, Rescue Facial Spray. I got a travel size and I purchased the full size. It's good, it's really good on your skin. So, we got here, Beauty Bay is releasing their Bronze Blush Glow Face Palettes. They look pretty, I really like this one. Um, but, I, I like this one for like eyeshadow. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty like quad for eyeshadow. But no, this is an easy pass for me. This I know I'm gonna pick up. This is the Triclone Skin Tech Medium Cover Foundation with Fermented Arnica, which um, sounds weird, but if you Google it, you will see what it's about. From House Labs, which is Lady Gaga's uh, brand. It has 51 shades. And it says an advanced skincare infused long wearing foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a naturally luminous finish in 51 ultra fluid shades. Medium natural liquid. They got all the information here. It's $45. It's, it's a little in the higher price tag. Um, but yeah, I am obsessed with this. This foundation shade finder tool i love this i mean the neutral tones on the top so this is gonna be so easy for when you know you're going to buy your foundation i wish every brand did this patent pending fermented arnica i love it i love the campaign uh i love how lady gaga does her things so yeah, this is definitely something that I'm gonna pick up and um, hopefully I make a YouTube video on it. So stay tuned for that. Eh, they don't. September 8th. I need to remember that date. Okay, Goss Makeup is coming with this Amber Luxury Eye Collection. The shimmer looks very pretty, but I can't justify the price tag. I don't have it on this post, but I know it's I know it's on the higher price tag. You know what? Just, just look at it. Yeah, $69. No. 
So yeah, this palette is $69. Easy pass. Easy pass for me. I, I've never tried anything from his brand. I believe he's a makeup artist. Um, I will have to try it, but I'm not really interested. It's pretty. I have that shimmer. It looks very, 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 very pretty, but it's just... So we have here, which I'm very intrigued by this, from Glow Recipe is the Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. Basically that. <laughs> Skin concerns, dryness, dark circles, and puffiness. Is it a gel cream? Yeah, um, this one, I'm really intrigued to see. It's available September 6th on Sephora. The price is $38. It's a little hot. It looks really nice. I just want to eat the fruit, to be honest. Uh, those guavas look really nice. And I just want to eat them. Oh my god, this is what I need. Right in dark circles. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. I think I'm going to get this. Because... My other eyes are crazy right now. So yep, yeah, um, this is this is not a pass. I'm picking this up. If you, if she knew, that means spending money. So lastly, we have this um, new Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Oh, this is a new shade, peachy pink. Well, oh, that's not a word for me, so I can't pick it up. But. Um, I've never tried their famous um, powder before. It looks basically the same, just without the glow, which any powder does that. So, yeah, this is an easy pass for me. Okay, guys, so that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below, what are you picking up from all the products that I showed you? Yes, it's crazy. So let me know what are you picking up from the products that I show you. If you're picking anything, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts about it. And yeah, that is it for today's video. And I will see you in the next She's My Corner um, part three. Hopefully I don't take too long, but you know, we've been busy. This girl starts school in one day. So <laughs> that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye!